Today, the FDA is set to discuss whether Pfizer booster shots should be available to the general public. We have vaccine team coverage this morning. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm on top of a big pandemic shortage impacting children nationwide. But first, we go to Trayson for more on the FDA meeting and what it could mean for you and your family. Trayson? That's right, Rob. I mean, it could mean that we all are recommended to get a booster or just a segment of our population. It's what we've all been waiting to find out for several months now. And presumably in just a few hours, we'll find that out from the FDA. And I'm told by officials that the committee is looking to balance safety with efficiency. We still have folks in, in, you know, in Georgia who have no protection whatsoever. We're not giving up or leaving them behind. This morning, an FDA committee is set to meet to discuss COVID-19 booster shots. This after Biden administration officials shared data claiming vaccine protection weakened over time. Right now, that data is sparking a huge debate in the vaccine expert community. A group of vaccine experts, including some from the FDA and World Health Organization, recently wrote evidence shows the general public does does not need a booster. The debate is raging on as the Georgia Department of Health recently released data showing that 352 Georgians vaccinated against COVID-19 died compared to 8,097 unvaccinated Georgians so far this year. While many eagerly await the FDA committee's decision, some are concerned throwing a third shot in the mix could lead to logistical problems. Want to avoid having this mad rush of all half a million people coming the first week to get, um, you know, to get their, uh, their, their booster shots. Now, the meeting is scheduled for 830 this morning. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll have more information you need to know about this entire situation. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Tracy Bragg, CBS 46 News.